We're back again with episode 6 of the Ultimate Team, and today we're facing what possibly should and could be our biggest challenge of them all. We are facing the Springboks, South Africa. Although they've had a pretty poor year this year, this could be our ultimate task ahead of facing the big three of the All Blacks, England and Ireland. Of course, we could still face the Wallabies before we go those three, and we have a lot of players in those top three sides that we want to grab as well. Today, let's grab the controller and have a look. We want to grab Eben It's a Beef. Here's our target. I know we talked a lot about Tendai and Tawera in the last episode. We're going to get him in an episode or two's time. I think we're going to alternate the teams we play so we don't play the same team consecutively in matches. So we're going to go for It's a Beef today to replace Steve Murphy, who is possibly our worst player still in the side. Then we'll look to him, Tawera, to look to maybe go on the loose head side, maybe rotation on the bench with uh, Noriega Paz, but for now, we're going to go for Eminence of Beef. He is going to fill that number four lock roll in our team with Steve Murphy going to the bench. Should we win it? Of course, if we lose it, is there a chance of losing anyone? Who is our South African? Ludiega. So we could be losing a lock to gain a lock. That could be that could be quite troublesome if we don't win this match. We'll be really in trouble in the second row. But win it, we'll have two South African second rowers. And of course, later on, I think we're going to really look to go for Ian Henderson to fill in the second row spot with these two Springbok players. Of course, I'm told we're on the front row. That's probably all I'm going to look for from the Springboks team. There's not much else. We talked a little about Faf de Clark, who's in there. Billy LaRue, I'm pretty happy with Short Hog, to be honest there. You know, there's likes of De Allende, another man that could fill that center role. But Ryan Crotty, you know, there's not much difference between them. I think we need to go with something big, something special in that number 12 jersey. Not much else we're going to look for. There's Faf de Clark. We could grab him at scrum half. But I think I'm sold on getting Aaron Smith there as my starter a lot later on as well. But DNA goes a lot of Springboks players. But the one we're going to be looking for is Eben It's a Beef. He's going to be our target for episode number six of the Ultimate Team. Let's get to the match and see if we can do the business. I really think we've decided to pace ourselves quite well in this series. But there's come a time, and I think that time is right now, that we're going to have to bite the bullet. And we're going to have to take on the best teams in the world. Is that South Africa at the moment? Probably not. But they still have a quality, quality team. And, you know, we've got to face Ireland. We've got to face England. We've got to face New Zealand if we want to get the best players. So there's no point beating around the bush, playing Scotland and Argentina all the time. It's time to kick it in the nuts. It's time to get the series really started. And it begins here with the Springboks. So we talked about it just before. Ebenezer Beef is the man we want to uh, take from the Springboks team. It's a great side throughout, though, like a back row of Albert Snow, Whitesley, Lambie at 10, Dayalandi, Venter, Peterson, Combrink, LaRue, and Tarawera, Strauss, Koch in the front row as well. I mean, it's a great team. And... You could take anyone from the side and be quite happy. But we're going for the big guns. We want it to beef, and we want to make our second row great once again. All right, some more changes in the ultimate team. And it starts off in the front row on the tight end side. Ramiro Herrera is joining us from Argentina. He's our new addition. Of course, Stuart Hogg's a fullback. We also have Louis Picamoles at number eight. Mamuka Gorgodza at seven. The man we're looking to replace is Steve Murphy, the Tongan second rower. He's been good. I'll be fair, he's been pretty decent. But it's time to really step it up. And we could get a good partnership here with Edson Ethan Diego for now. We'll look to add in Henderson later. And our second row would be absolutely perfect. That is what my targets are at the moment. So win today and we are well on the way to really confirming and consolidating that forward pack that looks very, very nice at the moment. Once again, these beautiful kids on show. Lovely in pink. Flags all over the place. It's night time here in Free State Stadium. And it is Paddy Jackson. Ball in hand. Wind in his face. Kicks off episode six of the ultimate team. And Namani Nadolo, who, let's be honest, was absolutely superb in the last episode. Gives to Davies. Davies sliding through. He can't link up. And it's 
Oh, it is that's a beef. Goodness me, don't tell me he's going to have a stormer. We talked about it last episode. The teams are the players of the teams we target. Always play phenomenal games. It's Jackson. One ball to Nono. Inside to Moore. Out the back of the hands of Crotty. The Osmond team looking for a fast start. Can they find it? Nadolo's in the rack. Pick and all's over. Louis Pickamel scores his opening try for the ultimate team. He is such a strong runner of the ball as Louis Pickamel. That is why he's in the team. Man, he is massive. So hard to stop crushing into tackles. Get out of the way. It's, it's a beast that tried to stop him. Enemies and rivals today could be teammates tomorrow. Great try, pick him all side. That's why we've got him. That's what he does. That's the damage. And that's why we love him. So, Nadolo. Of course, he was the best player in the park in the last episode. He's got a strong breeze to contend with now. I hope we don't have to rely on goal kicking again today like we did against Argentina last episode. But he's off to a good start. It's 7-0, the try on the board, and the Osmond team lead. I think we've been quite smart about this. We've strengthened our side in the positions that we could easily. I mean, France pushed us. Uh, last episode, Argentina pushed us. We'll be visiting them again, I'd imagine. It's Carlos Feely. Probably the surprise of this whole team at the moment. More away to Crotty. Crotty stepping, jinking. Crotty going away himself. Throws the ball out the back. Diego, he's lost it. Not a, a best pass at all. Strauss. That's a really bad spot to give the ball away there. Right on our 22. His man will be revisiting for. And Tarara. Nowhere the through there at all for Whiteley. Sits it back. Cock again. Good pass away. It's low. Giving it to Combrank. That was a hospital pass. And half Nadolo. Nadolo! He's stolen the ball. Laruga's chase. And Villaru hunts down the money. Nadolo could have been a breakaway heartbreaker from the Fijian. But South Africa survived, just pulling him in inside halfway. Here comes a throw stolen from Diego. That is what he does, and that is why he's in the team. Terrible pass. And Dayalani picks it up. Nice. Could be a turnover ball here for the Osman team. They pile on in again. Oh, they are playing superb. It's pick and holes. Already got one try. Tried the offload. Didn't come off. Now that's the Springboks. They get the offload game going. Combrink. Sit, sit down. Dayalani. Pops it short and hit a step to Toit now. Police. Trying to go himself. He's pulled down. Advantage is over. They keep it going through Venter. Venter's hit hard, and no, oh, Steve Murphy. Oh, an intercept from Lambie. How did he do that? Wide come the Springboks. Cock is inside to the other day again. Flying it all around the place. Finally goes to ground. Jackson, Jackson hits it up, and Jackson goes nowhere. The Springboks again, they've turned it over. We are really having a hard time keeping this ball, and Tarrero away nicely. Finally, Detroit takes it into contact. There's a good Release. tackle coming in from Murphy. He's playing well for a man losing his spot. A little shimmy tried there. From Vincent Cock, he's going nowhere. Page. Well, Page is monster. But his room and numbers out wide. It's Combrick on Nadolo. But Nadolo picks him up and throws him over the sideline. Nadolo is superb defensively. And we've really got good wingers. And we really need to look after them as well. Stephen Moore, how long is he going to be in the team? The way it goes to Jackson. And yet we don't kick too often, but we're in trouble. We should have gone for the the breeze there. But I think it's a great tackle from Fotoli on Combrink. Puts him down. Here is Lambie. Great offload. And he's got it away. Dallin, he can't get away from Murphy. Really Superb seen. tackle and a penalty as well. Steve Murphy. Why did you play so bad in the last episode and now you're amazing today? It is a penalty, so we've got to make sure this goes out. No! No! Combrick's got a gift and he's kicked it back, but he's given it straight to the danger man, Nadolo. Swain Davies goes to May. Here is May. 
May needs to be careful with this kick because the wind will take it. May regathers. May gives it to Gorgonza. He goes back, Davies. The line side to Rura. Oh, the big man goes through a bit of a scamper. He has lost the ball though. He was isolated out there and Alan Day has got a good pass away. Slows down now for the Springboks. They're slipping it inside, Alberts. Good pass from low. The back row is combining nicely. Well, that goes again. Oh, that's a good tackle on Not low. Surely saying. a penalty. And it is another penalty. That is what the ultimate team does. And you can say this back row isn't good in the breakdown. But I would disagree. They are amazing in the breakdown. Speed and power is what it's about. And they have got some really big turnovers in this game already. I mean, look at it. When we're under the pump, we got a turnover penalty. And now we have a three-pointer as well. I don't want to rely on the kicking. But they are just gift three points for us at the moment. And 10-0 is very nice at half time against a team like South Africa. Our team isn't the greatest. We need to really be careful because we're up in the first half, up on position, up on territory. But just like last time, Argentina comes storming back with a lot less. And they almost stole the game very late on. We've amazingly made 10 more tackles in the spring box despite having double the ball effectively. Two thirds to a third, you could say. Hamminger is a running right for us, so that's a bit of a problem. But we are throwing those 50-50s. Maybe we need to play a bit more territory in the second half. We'll see how we go. The penalty goal could be the difference again. We do not want to draw because I don't know what that means. Right, back comes Lambie. How many times do we have to play the spring box? I'm thinking just twice at the moment. Until we are, it will be... Another pick from the spring box, as well as, of course, it's a beef today. Murphy finds the photo elite. He just takes it. Oh, he's been lost. He's lost the ball straight away. Oh, Combrink gets smashed from Nadolo. Nadolo turns it over. He's waiting. The invitation comes and he runs. Support from Pink needed quickly. It doesn't come. That's poor from the ultimate team. Firing away now, the spring box. We are in trouble. May has a lot of work to do. As Dillande holds it up in a good tackle on Lambie. Johnny May, great work. Jackson steals it. Fotuali fires wide. Davies, that's a bit dodgy. Crotty, away goes to Diego. The Springbok himself pops a horrible pass for Collis Feely. He's a speedster himself in the back row. Gets him team up to halfway. Recycles nicely. Nadolo's playing for himself on the sideline. Jackson, Diego again. Big pass. No, look pass to Johnny May. He could be in. He sent Peterson for Dust. And the Englishman will be in full court. Could be a crucial try in this fixture. We're here towards 50 minutes. Half an hour to go. And it's 15-0. The Springboks have been great defensively. But do they look like scoring any points on attack? Great pass to Diego. And then May showed the gas on the outside. Lambie. Peterson, well, he was fan watching. He had no idea what was going on, and he got left behind in the play. Johnny May hasn't done a huge amount for us in this series, but that could be critical. All he needed was speed, and he showed every ounce of it there. Where was Vili LaRue? That's the question that I ask you. Amazing, Kitness. Simply amazing. Nadolo's been brilliant again. His second consecutive game where he's been on song. The forward pack, I think, has been just spectacular. We've still got half an hour to go, though. It's only 17-0. I know they need to score three times, but twice would scare me. And South Africa have the capability, there's no question about that, to score twice in no time whatsoever. How good is Collis Feely though? I want to point this out. This man is amazing. No Agapaz. Pick him off. Crotty. Herrera. Oh, the big man is charging again. Man, he's massive. But again, he's lost the ball. And Johnny May now. He's been left behind by Peterson. But oh, Stuart Hogg. The Great. Scotsman. The talisman fullback. Shuts down another potential try scoring move from South Africa. He's good, Nee Hogg. 
He has not put a foot wrong all we, well, every game he's played. Murphy finds Fotuali'i. And Jackson takes his time. He measures his kick. Gets the breeze nicely. Gets it away from Billy LaRue. He's going to run it back to LaRue. He's fended away. The attempt from Crotty. He's gone away by Austin Hogg. He deserves man of the match. He's been absolutely phenomenal. He's just saved another try. Side to side. The Springboks come again. Widely taken from Moore. And Moore steals the ball. The ultimate team are coming back. Now they counter. It's Davies again. He looks inside. It's Paz. Elena Murphy. It's going to be in his last match. Nadolo. Fending. Good tackle though. Coming in from Francois Lowe. College Feely. Moore. Nowhere for more to go there. He's put a bad pass away. But Herrera has picked Lace. up Venter and sent him packing towards his own try line. Page. Good, bad, good ball from Lowe. Finds it back inside. Here is him, Toro Herrera. Man will look towards next time. That's not releasing again. Oh, the ultimate thing. Their forward pack is absolutely spectacular tonight. Jackson. Oh, they are putting the gauntlet down to the spring box. Not many teams can do this. Stuart Hogg. Oh, what a pick. He is the pick of the ages. Bryce Stulin wouldn't have done anything that Hogg has done. Fatuli, Jackson. Jackson hasn't done much and he's not going anywhere there either. A big spring box pack. Jumps in, but look at that. Everyone's getting involved here for the ultimate team. And they've hung on to the ball. College Feely, the way to pick him out is a try. It's three on one, and it's going to be Ryan Crotty. Anticlimactic as you like. The Springboks threw everyone into that ruck to try and steal the ball. They got nothing. And the ultimate team, well, they have put away that risky penalty and turned it into seven points. College Feely did brilliantly, but pick him out. The cool head, he knew to draw the defender and he had numbers to burn out wide. And look at those South African players, they are not happy at all. It was the LD, I think, who was fuming in the background. There he is, look on the left side. He is absolutely giving it to his winger. Rightfully so, some may say. Defense out there, pretty poor. Numbers were lacking. And the Oxford team looks like they may have their man here. Natolo will look to add another couple, but Ibn it's a beef. Should be coming home with us. Another great kick. Well, there was a threat that we might struggle here. The Springboks were our toughest ask, but I think we have really put them to the sword. The opening 40 was tough. But this game is based on confidence. We gained, they lost. College Feely is just a monster. Pick him out. Away to Noriaga Paz. He slips it away to Ryan Crotty. Could be another one here. Could be in for Davies. Back it goes to Nadolo. Nadolo slips it away for Herrera. Herrera goes up to no one in particular. For the relief, he goes away to Jackson. Penny Jackson trying to storm away himself. He's dragged down though. He's not the speedster. Not the man Bowden Barrett would be there, but he's doing a good job at the moment. Oh, Rudy Page is just absolutely awesome there from Herrera. Nice. The size difference on those two is just absolutely just so different, it's not even funny. Oh, red like a book from Nadolo, and he puts Combrick so far in touch, he's almost back home. Seven man line out is the court. Goes to the back, good God, sir. Pulls it in. Fotuli waiting for someone to come help him out. He finds Davies eventually. Davies puts it short to Jackson. Jackson runs away, finds support in May. May's going himself. Finds Crotty. Crotty, Crotty, Crotty just being pulled away. Good tackle on Ryan Crotty there. Just really put him off balance and he couldn't stabilize himself to put a pass away. Here's Pick and Holes and here is Danger as well. Somehow he offloaded that. Pass! Oh, and Herrera! Oh, bad ball! It's picked up from Mr. Beef. Would love another try here, the ultimate team. Oh, wow. And they've been driven back, the Springboks, into their own and goal. It would be a five-minute scrum, but carried back. Ends the game. The ultimate team have their man. Final little try would have been the little salt in the wound of the Springboks. But the pats on the back are fully deserved here.
The Springboks played an exquisite opening 40. They trailed, but they were hard in defence. They were tough. But the second half, the better team come out on top by far. Three tries to zip. South Africa never really looked at it attacking, but their defence was pretty good for the most part. Three tries probably flatters the ultimate team. They probably should have only ever scored one or two at the most. Nadolo on form of the boot, grabbing a penalty. That just kind of made that difference at halftime. Pickamoles, Crotty and May were the three try scorers. Well, there's no second half, second half comeback for the home team here. South Africa struggling their way to 29% possession. Ultimate team enjoyed a nice pile of 71%. The scrum battle was good, but I think we've really got a good footing there with the addition of Herrera. Amazingly, the ultimate team put in twice as many kicks, and the line breaks were high as well. South Africa made seven. You converted none of them into a try. 22 handling errors. That's a lot. Let's just ignore that bottom line and move on. Let's get our man, even it's a beef, into the team. Such an amazing talent is it's a beef. Just 23 years of age. Amazing. And he is coming in with an 86 rating. We'll put him in there. And then we'll put Murphy into the reserves bench. There we go. It's a beef and Diego. What's a second row partnership? Look at their ages. That's ridiculous. 26 is Herrera as well. 22 Niagara Paz. Stephen Moore, he's a veteran of his Ford pack. Good God's is 31. Pickamore's 29. But how good is this team at the moment? If we can throw an Ian Henderson maybe for uh, Diego, I'd be quite impressed with that. Indeed, I would be quite nicely impressed. That is the plan at the moment. But I think Ireland are maybe a few episodes away. My thinking from here on in is Argentina again. I want to play them again, and I want to look towards getting Santiago Cordero onto this right wing. I want to try him out. I want him on my team regardless whether he's a starter or a bencher. I'm not 100% sure. Other options for the next few episodes. Kurandrani. Wouldn't mind him as a bit of a... Well, he could really take the position of Davies as well. That's really up in the... I think Kurandrani's a better player for sure, so... He's a form man. I think he's one of the best outside centers in the world at the moment because there's not a huge amount. Likes of Joseph, maybe for Fana, more of an inside. Uh, D. Allen there as well. And, and Henshaw. Robbie Henshaw. He's the other one, but again, it's Ireland. And I don't know if I want to attack them too early. I think we might go for Kurandrani. Maybe he'll be a bench player. But we'll get Kurandrani in there for now, and then we'll get Henshaw to replace Kurandrani later. We'll get Owen Farrell for 12. Barrett Smith. Cordero on the right wing. Hog. How good was this man in today's episode? How good was he? He was just ridiculous. That's how good he was. Here's another man here. Uh, Stander probably is the favorite front runner to get that spot. CJ Stander, another Irishman. Really all I'm left with getting now is the bench. Irishman, New Zealanders and Englishman. It's about all I'm left with. If we pick up Kurandrani and Cordero over the next couple of... Oh, and Tawera as well. We want to play the spring box again and get Tendai and Tawera in there for possibly Noriega Paz. But that'll be again rotation of the front row. See who fits best with this team. Paz has been brilliant. Original pick, but he may find his spot on the bench so that's nice Herrera brilliant as well I'm really happy with how this team's shaping up we seem to be getting stronger and stronger and maybe a couple of episodes time I think we're ready to face the big three so let's set it down for that let's get those three players that's the plan you guys know it, I know it and Tawera Kurandrani and crap what was the other one I've forgotten already Cordero that's right that's right Cordero Kurandrani and of course I'm Tawera on the loose head side. Right, that's the next three episodes. What order? I don't know. We'll mix it up. We just played the spring box, so I might go back and I might play the Wallabies next and try and get Kurandrani or Argentina for Cordero. That's the plan, but that is the squad. We welcome our new man, Eben Itzabeef, into the team. An absolute freak of a man. He has been amazing uh, for the spring box and hopefully he continue that for us in the ultimate team. That wraps up today's episode. Thank you all for tuning in and watching again. Thank you for your input. Keep them coming as I've just accidentally 
push the button to get rid of it to be but we'll get him back quickly there he is okay don't worry about that thank you for your input everyone hope it continues as well for the series as always and i'll see you all next time for episode seven we'll be looking to grab another player for our ultimate team until then thanks for watching and take care